Hello everybody. We're on our way out the door to go get Dan's truck to go get that couch. Becky called and said Julie said we could do it, so but it's eleven thirty two. So so much for getting it the doing all this in the morning. It's almost lunchtime. But before we unload it off the truck, we'll throw this out the door. Smokey. You already dug a big hole in that chair. You don't need to dig another big hole in that chair. That's how it's going so far. We're just on our way over there to get that truck. So let me show you guys something funny. I use one of these in the car with a lid on it for my coffee. He does this so he can spill it all over the place. And he's been doing this the whole time we've been together and I keep saying use one of those, one of these. Because we have a whole bunch of these. But nope, he'd rather spill it. Men are goofy sometimes. There's our car. And we have the truck. Yep, the beast. Yep. So we're on our way to get the couch now. We're just leaving Dan's house in oh, town man. here. And as always, there's a bunch of crap in here. Always, always a bunch of crap. The back seat's actually not half bad. Usually it's piled right up like a giant garbage can. But, oh well. And apparently this is what his boys like to do, which would make me so mad if I had kids and this was my truck. Wow. Especially when he paid over 10 grand for this truck. Yeah. Here's Julie's dog. What's your name? I don't know. Just getting ready to get the couch in there. <laughs> yeah. So we have it here, but after we get the other couch out of the house, Don has to take the truck with the couch over to Dave's, grab him and help him uh, carry it, it, this into the house because it's way too heavy for me to pick up. So, and he can't go get Dave with the car because the car is in town at Dan's house. So the backs pull up off this, so that'll make it a little easier. Right? Yeah. And I will vacuum the area while he's going to get Dave so that all he'll have all they'll have to do is bring the couch in and plop it where it belongs. Well, they're supposed to pull off there. There's a little flip on them. Ah. Uh. And for those of you who might not have watched yesterday's vlog, we're getting rid of this couch because it's fallen all apart springs and bars all over the place. Alright, it's out. Don's heading over to Dave's. Hopefully he's available to help get that other one in. 
And this looks gross as all hell, so I'm going to vacuum this now. There, it's all clean now. I'm just waiting for them. I'm not sure when they're going to get here. Hopefully Dave can help. Otherwise, I don't know. But the sun came back out, and apparently Smokey doesn't want to give up that couch. <laughs> hey, Tug. Tug. Hi, Tog. Yes, there was another dog. Be jealous. Another dog jumped on me. Well, they finally made it back. Tug, get out of there. Come here. <laughs> it's getting hooked on the railing. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> well, thanks, because I can't pick that up. Don't put it right against the glass, but... Hmm. A little less room to get through there. <laughs> and there we go. All done now. Time to trade this back for our own car. Which is good, because I can barely get in and out of that truck because it's so high. And there it is. It's done. And uh, there's not as much room to get through here, but there's still enough. We just have to make sure we don't stub our toes on that. If I had a smaller end table, that'd be fine, but I don't, so. And Julie gave us these pillows, too. And it is a height of bed. But I don't know if we'll ever use it. But I bought some, we stopped at Family Dollar after we dropped the truck off and I bought some Febreze so it can smell really good because they smoke and I don't allow smoking in the house so I'm sure it smelled like smoke. And how are you doing? Ain't dead yet. <laughs> gotta be doing good. Yeah. There you go, check it out. A new place for you to take a nap.
Oh, there you go. And when Dave came, Gizzard hid again. They came here last night, Dave and his son Lucas, bef after I was done vlogging. And Gizzard hid. And now today when Dave came to uh, help with the couch, Gizzard hid. Which is silly because Gizzard came from Dave in the first place. But I guess he doesn't remember him. When we stopped to put gas in Dan's truck, I bought this sandwich from the Village Corner Party Store. A.K.A. the Mobile Station. They make them homemade there. And they're really good. I put horsey sauce on there from Arby's. But if you're ever in the area and you want a good sandwich, they make them there and they're really good. They're not your typical yucky old gas station sandwich. And I also bought this fox from Family Dollar because I like foxes. So dinner tonight is beef rice, corn, and chicken and that's paprika on there so what that's why it's black that's what happens to it when you bake it it's not burnt so dinner was good I picked out that beef rice when we went to Family Dollar I just felt like having some with dinner and I just got the dishes done and the laundry is folded and put away and I vacuumed again today obviously because we needed to for the couch the new couch and and there goes some more snowmobiles but it is only not even seven o'clock yet it's like 6 40 but I'm gonna go ahead and close this vlog out because I have to get up at seven o'clock in the morning in order to take a shower have a cup of coffee and eat a bowl of cereal and get to work on time I work from 9 to 2 30 and then on Tuesday I work four to close and then that's it for the week because that's just how it goes being at the bottom of the totem pole so we're gonna say good night and we hope you enjoyed the video and that you like and subscribe and that you're having a good night say good night say good morning <laughs> and we'll see you next time